All right, let's go ahead and take a look at a question here. It says, at what x values does y equals x cubed over 3 minus x squared plus 5 have a horizontal tangent line? Okay, so let me just go ahead and make a little sketch here. And this is not of this graph right here, but just in general. So if I had a graph, say, for instance, like that, okay, um, we've talked about tangent lines, and basically a tangent line shares the slope and y value of the graph at a certain point. So a horizontal tangent line is referring to a line that has a slope of zero. So if I were to look at this graph, this sketch that I made real quick here, the slope you know, of zero is occurring right here at the top. So if I were to draw a tangent line at that point, it would be a horizontal tangent line. So the idea that we're trying to get at here is that a horizontal tangent line occurs when a graph has a slope of zero. Okay? So this equation right here will have a horizontal tangent line when its slope is zero. And again, remember, slope and derivative are synonyms. So this equation of a horizontal tangent line when its derivative is equal to zero. All right, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to find the derivative of this. So the derivative of y prime. And <clears throat> first take the derivative of x cubed over 3. Some people are more comfortable thinking of that instead of having an x cubed over 3 is rewriting it as 1 third times x cubed. Okay. You know, either way is fine, but in that case you'll see the 3 goes in front to multiply by the 1 third, which will, 3 times the third is just 1, so I don't have to write the 1, and then it becomes x, and I subtract 1 from the exponent to get squared, and then I take the derivative of this, it's going to be minus 2x, using the power rule, derivative of 5, a constant is just 0. So I want to see, okay, again, my goal is fine, where does this have a horizontal tangent line? That is the same thing as saying, is where is the derivative equal to 0, where is the slope equal to 0? So I need to see where does this... Uh, equals zero. This is the derivative. Okay. Let me go and factor out and factor out an x to get x minus two equals zero like that. And I have there are two places when x equals zero and when x equals two. So zero and two. So those are the two places where this function has a horizontal tangent line at x equals zero and at x equals two.